You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. Welcome back. One organization in Utah is empowering women's mental health in a unique way. It involves getting their hands dirty, saddling up, and befriending a 1,500-pound animal. ABC4's Annika Johns live in studio tonight with the story behind Bridal Up Hope. Annika. Thank you. Bridal Up Hope is designed to provide a transformational experience for young girls and women at a time in life where it just seems like everything around them is getting harder. From dealing with pressure to live up to impossible expectations that often lead to low self-worth, depression, and anxiety, Bridal Up Hope has made it their goal to empower women's mental health through the power of horses. Nestled in the hills of Alpine, Utah, sits a barn with a story. And that story begins with a girl who loved horses, named Rachel Covey. She called me up one day after completing a 50-mile endurance ride. She called up and she said, Dad, I found my voice. This is it. I want to just do this the rest of my life. I want to ride horses and race horses. If you had met Rachel, she was the most loving, bubbly, fun, free-spirited girl ever. And you wouldn't know that she also battled depression. In 2012, Rachel tragically passed away. It was such a shock for our family. Just in 2012, you know, mental health, depression, anxiety, it was very hush-hush. And, and people didn't really talk about it as they do now. And so I was with her all the time and I didn't even know what depression was. I just knew she was, you know, sad a lot of the time. Shortly after she passed, inspiration struck. Some of her close friends, they came to us and they said, Rachel changed me. She changed my life. And my parents asked how, and they said she took me horseback riding. And in that moment, through a tragedy, triumph was found. We just said, okay, we're going to do what Rachel did. We're going to try to help young women who are struggling uh, through horses. The program combines the love of horses and caring for them while teaching girls to be confident, hopeful, and resilient. And we got the idea of combining it with the seven habits, my dad's work, because they're so powerful. So we just kind of naturally integrated it in a non-academic way, just as you're horseback riding, you're learning the habits. Their equine-assisted learning curriculum helps to teach girls and women how to recognize their worth and potential and how to approach life's hardships the best way they can. There's three parts to our program. So our first part is a girl or a woman in structure and a horse. And then the second part is the seven habits. And then the third part, we have service hours that the women and girls can come and volunteer, muck stalls, feed horses, and give back. Horses, they teach you confidence. Because when you are with a horse, if you are slumped over like this, looking down, and you have no confidence, the horse will just take over and do whatever they want. So what I learned with working with horses was, whoa, like I have to be the leader and I'm in control of my own life. And that's what we teach the girls as well. So we teach them, okay, let's stand up a little taller. Let's put our shoulders back. Let's look at the horse in its eyes and let's know that you are the leader. These lessons and their teachings are now moving worldwide with four locations in Utah, one in Idaho and Texas, one in Guadalupe, Estonia, the Netherlands, and this summer, they will open another one in Ukraine. And while Rachel may be gone, her spirit of helping others through horses lives on and can be found in every girl that enters their barn and comes out with hoof prints on their heart. We feel her helping us out from the other side all the time, and so do the girls. She's jumping up and down for joy. She's so happy that because of, of her journey and her life, others can be changed. Their Ukraine location is set to open later this summer, and they are seeking donations that will help pay for riding instructors, the care for the horses, and provide necessary materials for their program. If you're interested in donating or want to learn more about Bridal Up Hope and their mission, you can visit our website at abc4.com. Back to you at the desk.